Okay, here we go. Open SCAD animated. So this is Open SCAD, and I have to run it there. And you can see this is supposed to be a rotor and a stator. The rotor has four magnets. The stator has three coils. And we're going to turn it here so we can get a good front view of it. I bet there's a button for that. Yeah, yeah, nope, yeah. I just, I just love Open SCAD. Uh, it um, is more like a programming language rather than a graphic artist tool. So a lot of people use it. Well, it's great for three D uh, printing. So anyway, this is animated. What I want to do is show view, animate, and down here we have frames per second, so we're going to put in 20 frames per second, and we're going to do 360 steps, and is that not cool? Look at that, we speed it up a little bit at 36. Okay, 360. Now then, what you see is the way um, brushless DC motors work is they have a sensor to detect the position of the magnets. So the coil, okay, so we've got this coil over here that is attracting this magnet. And as this magnet comes around, and then as soon as it hits center, it's going to flip direction so that it's repulsing this magnet now, okay? At, at any one time, only two coils are turned on. So you have one that is repulsing and one that is attracting. And so that one's repulsing, this one's attracting, and then it flips to repulsing, and now this one's attracting, and then it flips to repulsing, and this one's attracting. So you see it steps through each magnet or uh, coil um, only two of them are at a time, one repelling and one attracting. And over here you can see this is our variable that sets the animation speed. It quite, has quite the opposite effect as changing it down here in steps. See it's faster. Okay, check this out. I'm going to change it to 720. Really doesn't have that much of an effect on it, does it? So, this is pretty cool though. Um, so, it shows, so this animates and it shows how the uh, brushless DC motor works. Now, the um, test program that I was using to learn animated. There you can see I have two spheres. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that one for right now, the outside one. And we're going to view and animate and 20 and 360 and there it goes. Is that not cool? Let's speed it up a little bit here. I'm sure with uh, some tweaking, you can get a lot smoother than this. Okay, and I was playing around with it here. Oh, look at that. I got two of them going. It's really bizarre. See, it's uh, no rotation around the x-axis, rotation around the y-axis, and rotation around the z-axis. So that's it. That's all the excitement for anime. Um, one of the things it doesn't like, I don't know if it's the anime. I'll have to check out if it's the animation that causes the problem with uh, closing a file without, oh no.